Hey y'all, it's Kate from LandstarSouthern.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been quite a while since I was last on here and a few big things have happened in that time. I got married, I moved to Florida, I basically have a whole new life and it has been so much fun and absolutely crazy. I figured I would jump back on here today because I got so many questions about a makeup look I wore on Instagram stories a couple weeks ago. Now y'all know me. I am by no means a makeup or beauty guru. I don't claim to be, but I figured if I can create this look, really anyone can. The steps are pretty simple and I'm gonna walk you through them just because there were so many requests for this. Now, before we jump in, I wanna cover a couple things. First, like I said, I'm not a makeup guru. So if I'm not doing a proper technique for something, please don't jump on me. I bet I will do many wrong things, but this is just the process that works for me. And so that's why I'm sharing it with you. Secondly, I pushed a wrong button as I was filming the process and it gave me a photo filter. I did not remember my camera could even do this, but basically I clicked a button that I thought would focus on my face and it made my face, you'll see, it looks eerily perfect. Don't worry, all the steps remain the same. This is how my makeup actually looks. It's not a huge difference, but if you notice, it's not because I wanted to make myself look perfect. It's because I pushed the wrong button. These are the things that happen when you haven't been on YouTube in a while. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. The first thing I always do is apply a headband. This just keeps my hair out of the way so I don't even have to mess with it. Then I start out with a moisturizer. I use so many different types. I kind of switch it up from time to time. This is the one I'm using right now and I just apply it to my whole face. One product that has totally changed the game for me is makeup primer. I used to not think it was necessary, but this helps me get my skin super smooth, ready for makeup, and it helps my makeup last all day long. This is my current full coverage foundation. It's so smooth, it has SPF, and I feel like it applies really easily and gives you a super flawless complexion. I just use my hands to rub it all in. It's okay if it's not perfect because I'll go back with a beauty blender after I apply concealer to really make sure it's perfect. Next, I use concealer under my eyes, right under my nose, on my chin, and on any other problem areas I have. Then I just use a beauty blender to dab it all in until it's completely blended. The secret weapon to creating this look was this Bobbi Brown palette that I actually purchased from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. It has so many flattering eye shades as well as an amazing blush, an amazing highlighter, and a summery bronzer that I am loving. First, we'll start out with the bronzer. I just use a big fluffy brush and first sweep the bronzer over my cheekbones, along the top of my forehead, and down the center of my face. Then I do a super simple, super subtle contour simply by applying that same bronzer with a smaller brush right along my cheekbone. Next up, blush. This is a beautiful, summery, peachy shade that I think would look flattering on any skin tone. I use an angled brush to apply it right along the apples of my cheeks. Next up, highlighter. This is a really simple step, and all you need to do is brush it along the very tops of your cheekbones, the very top of your forehead, and lightly down the line of your nose. I found the best secret to creating an eye that lasts all day and doesn't smudge is using a primer. This is one I've been using for years and years and I found that it stands the test of time and really helps my makeup to stay put and not smudge. Every once in a while I won't get a spot with my finger so I just use a beauty blender to go back over it and make sure it's all blended in. Now onto the fun part, eyeshadow. On a day-to-day -day basis, I really don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, but when I'm wanting to glam it up, I play around with these different shades. First is this light plum shade that I sweep just along the bottom half of my eyelid. It has a beautiful glow to it, and I found you really don't need a lot. Next, I'm going to use this slightly darker shade to go into the corner of my eye, and then I'm going to use a blending brush. I use my finger to dab it into each corner, and then I blend out from there. This step stumped me for so long until I got a blending brush. It was really cheap, I think I bought it from Target, but it made the process of making my eyeshadow blend and look beautiful a breeze. Once you get that medium shade all blended in, it's time to go in with one deeper shade that I'm just going to apply into the very corner of my eye and subtly blend out. I found it works best for me just to place it in the corner of my eye with my finger and kind of do a little bit of smudging. Like I said earlier, blending is key. So use that same blending brush and blend it out until it looks perfect and even. Before finishing with eyeshadow, I like to go back and lightly apply it to the inner half of my eyelid and along my brow. Now for the fun part, liquid eyeliner. 
let's just say liquid eyeliner can definitely be tricky to apply, but I found practice makes perfect. I've been using this exact kind for years now, and it still gives me trouble from time to time. The best tip I've found is just try to stay along your lash line, and when you get to the ends, slightly sweep up. You can always use a Q-tip to go in afterwards and clean those up. The secret that really makes this beauty look pop is the fake lashes. So in order to prime for those, I'm going to lightly apply my lashes with a little bit of mascara. The main trick I found to applying fake eyelashes is making sure that you trim them down so that they are a little bit shorter than the actual width of your eyelid. Next, slightly bend the lash so that you can actually get it to mold to the shape of your eye. Then it's time for glue. This is the same brand that I just picked up from the drugstore, and all I do is lightly line the glue along the band of the fake lash and wait for about 30 seconds for it to get sticky. Here comes the tricky part, but try not to overthink it. Starting from the inner to the outer corner, simply lay the false lash right along your eyelid and make sure that it's backed up completely against your eyelid. Once the lash is on, you may need to take a couple seconds to readjust it, which is totally fine. The glue takes a few seconds to completely dry, so you have that flexibility. The hardest part is done, hooray! You can take a deep breath. I promise it gets easier and easier every time you do it. To finish up the eye, I'm just going to lightly fill in my brow using this eyeshadow pencil. You'll see that they look really, really dark and kind of odd, and so I just take the brush to brush back over them and blend out that color. Now for the finishing touch, lips. I swear by lip liner, I think it's a really good way to give your lips the perfect shape and to keep your lipstick on for a long period of time. Now for lipstick. This is a gorgeous, flattering shade on every skin tone. It's called Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's kind of a natural color, but enhanced. This is just a sample I got though, which is why it's so teeny. Last step, take off your headband and I swear you will feel like a new woman. And there you have it, my classic glam makeup tutorial. 